Good afternoon my lovely people, it's Kentish and this afternoon we're going to be reviewing this Liquid Memphal um, Liquid is a company in the UK where you can get e-juice bottles 10 mil for a quid a pop which isn't bad, which is basically where I'm getting all of my e-juice from at the moment um, because it does actually work out as the cheapest place to get it and it's, it's pretty good juice, it's, it's not bad. Recently they've added a whole bunch of flavours to their, this their high, v, high uh, vegetable glycerin range, just their HVG range if you will. Uh, so you are looking at 70-30 mix, so 70% vegetable glycerin, 30% uh, propane glycerin. Um. <laughs> so uh, they... They have recently added in a bunch of new flavors into this uh, into this high VG line, if you will. So you got flavors like this one here, strawberry and lime, um, which is really nice. You got lemon sherbet as well, which isn't quite so nice. Uh, it's, it's it's one of those flavors like it's it's nasty, but you have it anyway. Camera doesn't want to focus, but take my word for it. It tastes like washing up liquid. Um, but I don't know, I, I, I've had the whole bottle so it can't be that bad. So anyway, we are going to be trying the menthol flavour. Um, I have already tried it, so it's not going to really going to be a supply, surprise. But uh, we will pretend. So I'm going to be vaping on my Alien 220 bot. Uh, we've got a shit, really, really shitty coil in here. But um, it's, it still just tastes of, you know, whatever juice you put in there. Doesn't really matter. Um, and we are vaping at 77 watts at the moment, which is way too high for this coil. Um, but with menth with menthol flavors, you can vape them at whatever, pretty much. Um, so let's give it a bash. Yeah, that's too high. You can you can you can um you can vape at high wattage with a shitty coil but um only for like half a second. So let's put that down. Let's give it a little shake. Yeah, so it's quite a um it's, it's, it, it gets, it kicks the back of your throat, this menthol. Um, it's, cold, it's cold on the exhale. It's quite a sweet menthol though. I've had harsher menthols. Um, yeah, you get that menthol ment minty sort of aftertaste going on in your mouth where it, you know, it feels cold uh, when you breathe in. Um, let's give it another bash. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's 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 more this me particular menthol is more of an aftertaste thing, I would say. Uh, so you can't really taste the menthol going in, but when you're breathing out, that's when the menthol hits you. Um, yeah, it's, it's not too bad. If you're into your sweeter menthols, I'd recommend giving this a bash. If you're a if you're a lung hitter like I am, um, probably not so much. Because you're probably going to choke on this uh, because of the exhale thing. Yeah, see, with this crappy coil, I'd say that's probably about the right temperature, uh, around about 40 watts. Um, so yeah, I'd say uh, go for it. Obviously, with menthols. Um, especially with menthols, the flavour of menthols tends to change depending on how hot the juice is. That's what I've noticed. So it might be completely sweet at one end of the temperature scale and it might be, you know, the complete opposite down the other end of the temperature scale. So it really is personal preference. 
but in my opinion not a bad menthol um personally i've had way too many menthols I, I, I don't even remember ordering that to be honest with you um because i'm trying to get away from menthols i'm kind of sick of them but that is my review i would give this a wrigley's out of bubble gum so there you go a liquid uh, i haven't got an affiliate link or anything like that so just yeah i'd say it's, it's worth a bash it's, for a quid you can't really complain can you not too bad all right guys i'll catch you all very soon with uh i'm hoping to do in uh horror indie horrors that kind of stuff again uh just for the youtube channels i don't want to i don't want this channel to turn into uh um like clip highlights which a lot of other streamers do because come on who watches that come on now so i, I want to have dedicated channels uh dedicated videos rather on this channel for indie horrors and um as well i'm probably going to do their full flavor range perhaps if that's something that you guys want to see but yeah i'd say not too bad uh for this how does that Pokemon. Okay,